Congressman, I don't, I don't mean to harp on this, but when you look at how the events unfolded, one by one, Democratic leaders came out and called for the president to step aside. You had leaders like Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, yourself, who's such an esteemed member of the House. It's, many believe that it was a coordinated effort to publicly pressure the president to bow out instead of doing it behind the scene. My question to you is, was there that sort of coordinated effort? And do you think the president deserved better given his lifetime of public service? Hey guys, my name is Gore Dark and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Adam Pencil Neck Schiff and his admission about how it was a basic coup against President Biden to get him to drop out of the race. Now, this is not really being talked about, should be talked about, because people should know what the facts are. And this is what the facts are. President Biden wanted to run for re-election. President Biden was defiant in the face of Nancy Pelosi and all of the elites on the Democrat side. And it got to a point where she said, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. Easy way would be for him just to drop out, write the letter, call it a day. Hard way is they're just going to invoke the 25th Amendment, meaning you are not fit to run for office. And obviously, um, nobody would want to know that, right? Because that would be an absolute scandal on the Democrat side to come out officially and say this president is unfit for office. And technically, we knew it this entire time. But I digress. Anyways, uh, Adam Schiff goes on to The View. And he just admits the quiet part out loud that it was a cue. So before we get into all this, you, are, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's play that video. Given his lifetime of public service. You know, I can't speak to the private efforts uh, that uh, either Speaker Pelosi or Chuck Schumer or Hakeem Jeffries were undertaking because I really wasn't part of those internal discussions. So I don't know what they were conveying to the president, except that they were conveying the feedback that they got from members of the House and Senate. Right. So basically what you're saying is, uh, you know, uh, Hakeem Jeffries, Nancy Pelosi, they were running the show. They got him out of there and you just fell in line and you did what you were told to do. Like, that's really what he's saying. Right. He didn't even deny that those conversations happened. He's just saying I wasn't part of them. I know they happened, but I was not part of them. And I was part of the part where they told me what to do after the fact, which is why he came out and asked for President Biden to drop out, he did himself. He would have never had done that without consulting with Nancy Pelosi, Hakeem Jeffries, and the Democratic elite. Let's keep going. Uh, I can only speak for myself. I wasn't part of a coordinated effort. Uh, I really right. resisted uh, wanting to say what I ultimately felt I needed to, but uh, having mm -hmm. worked on the January 6th committee, having worked on an impeachment of the former president, having the grave concerns that I have, that if we go back to the disastrous uh, presidency of Donald Trump, uh, it could be the end of our democracy as, as we... Now, just hear the lies. The disastrous presidency of Donald Trump. Isn't this presidency a disaster, according to the American people? Isn't that why their poll numbers are so low? The approval ratings are so low? Because the policies are shit. But they're going to gaslight you and get you to, to look past that and just keep using the fear tactic. Oh, yeah, President Trump, threat to democracy. You should be scared. So just vote for us. Even though we're not really going to do anything for you, vote for us anyway, because that guy is evil. That's what they're running with still. It's sad. Know it. Uh, I felt compelled to speak out, but I can tell you only for myself, it wasn't part of a coordinated effort, mm. uh, but rather uh, a reluctant decision to say what I think many Americans were thinking, and that is we really need someone who can prosecute. A reluctant decision. I thought you said, you, you know, this is what all the Democrats were saying. I thought it was selfless. I thought he did it for the best of, of his country. He made a decision. No, no, no. He was forced. He was forced. Okay? He was forced. Keep the case vigorously against Donald Trump to protect our country from the likes of Donald Trump. Okay, so you guys seen that, right? And listen, if they continue to interview these Democrats and ask them these similar questions, they're all going to say the quiet part out loud, which is they staged a coup. They got Joe Biden out of there. They did not want him to run for reelection. He became defiant. Um, he was willing to push it. And sooner or later, it came to a boiling point. And it was either going to be, hey, we'll invoke the 25th Amendment on your ass or you better get out of this race. 
Uh, and so the, the, the crazy part about this entire conversation is this is supposed to be the party of democracy, right? This is supposed to be the party that says, hey, we know how to take care of the American people. We hear the American people. We support the American people. That is what their rhetoric is. But the results are not showing that. In fact, there's a, a gentleman that spoke on this very well. Let's take a listen. Democracy at its core is about letting the people decide for themselves. That didn't happen. In fact, a very small number of Democratic Party donors and media elites chose Hillary Clinton, Biden, and Harris. Nobody could watch the events of the last few weeks and believe that the Democratic Party is Democratic. It's a party controlled by the media, donors, and the deep state. However one feels about the GOP, the same can't be said for Republicans. Republican voters rejected their own party leaders, donors, and the foreign policy establishment to nominate Trump for president in 2016. So yeah, that was Schellenberger. I think he de detailed it very well, which is you have one party who absolutely uh, rejected Donald Trump for the presidency, and it's the followers, it's the American people that wanted him. See, if the Republicans had it their way, they would not have President Trump running for president again. They would not. Just like in 2020, just like in 2016, they would have used somebody else. However, on the Republican side, they follow what the American people are saying. That's one. On the other side of it, though, the Democrats, that's not what they're doing. Hillary Clinton was not someone that the American people wanted. Bernie Sanders was the person that they wanted. In 2020... Again, they wanted Bernie Sanders, but he was pushed to the side and Biden was brought to the front. Now we're here in 2024. The American people, I don't even think the American people even know what they want, honestly, because they don't even know who to choose from. They haven't even seen the actual names. They don't even know who's on the list. Right. But already the Democrats have decided that Vice President Harris is that person. And so this is really going to blow up in their face, like I said in another video, where BLM actually denounced what the Democrat Party was doing. But I digress. The whole point is the Democrats are undemocratic. They staged a coup. They got the president, the sitting president of the United States to drop out of the race two weeks before the DNC. And they have not held an open convention. They did not say they would hold an open convention. They are not allowing anyone else to come out and actually challenge Vice President Harris, in a serious way, is not going to happen. The media, they've already switched up their rhetoric. Hollywood has already switched up their rhetoric. And they're going to try to do everything they can to get her elected in the name of democracy. Yeah, the irony, right? So, hey, that's my mindset on this. What about yours? What do you guys think about Adam Schiff admitting the quiet part out loud? Uh, what do you think about this entire coup that took place with the sitting president of the United States? And what about this entire situation? It's crazy. I want to hear this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.